So what, what is our uh, hypothesis in IIH and how can we try uh, to go further and to demonstrate this hypothesis? So we hypothesize that in IIH, we had an impairment, an initial impairment of the, glymphatic, of the venous glymphatic drainage uh, just here. So after that, we don't know how it works first. So we don't know uh, what's going on in physiology here, but I think IIH is a perfect model of a dysfunction of this uh, piece of the puzzle. So this doesn't work. So the lymphatic system can't drain uh, in the vein. So you have a congestion of the lymphatic system here. You have an increase of CSF uh, in the subarachnoid space in the brain. And after that, you have the formation of the dural venous stenosis here. And this will produce a complete stop of the venous CSF outflow pathway. So you will have an excess of fluid in the lymphatic CSF outflow pathway, and you will have intracranial hypertension uh, because you have a big congestion of the lymphatic system. 